Hi friends, so in this video I'm going to show you how the workspace works, how you can create a planner with multiple pages that has a front and a back cover like you see here. And I will be using the Spooktober planner um, as an example in this video. And if you go to Planify Pro and you search for the term Spooktober, you can also open the Spooktober planner so you can follow the tutorial with me. So it will be the first planner you see here. Then just click on replace the workspace and you will have to wait a few seconds. You might have to wait 20 to 40 seconds to load the entire planner. But when it's loaded, it should show up here in the uh, workspace. Um, the workspace can be opened from up here by clicking on workspace. Or you can also click on the multiple page feature icon on the left upper side here. So let me quickly show you how the um, Spooktober planner looks like. So it has a front and a back cover and it has in total 18 pages. Now if you have been asking about how the covers work on Planify Pro, so you will always have to create the front and back cover on the first page in the workspace. And in the planner, the front cover will be the very first page and the back cover will be the last page um, behind all the pages right here. So don't be confused, the back cover isn't on this page here. The back cover is all the way back here, the, last, the very last page. So on Planify Pro, you will create the front cover on the first page on the right side and the back cover will be on the left side on the first page as well. And then the system will dissect and detach these pages and rearrange them so they will line up correctly in the planner. Now you can also have the front and back cover empty, like blank with nothing on it. And if you want to have the front and back cover empty, you would just leave the page one in the workspace empty as well. So you would make this page here empty and you would continue to page two and create your planner on page two right here. So whenever you're creating multiple pages and you're working in the workspace, just imagine you have the pages open. So the first page was the cover and now if you would open the very first page like this the first spread you see here would be page two so you see that on page two you have the monthly overview on the left side and a list notes and tracker down here below on the right side then if you flip to the next page and you also open the third page on in the workspace, you see that um, the third page would be a weekly planner. And then if you flip again to the fourth page, you see it's um, a weekly planner on four pages, starting with Monday to Thursday. And then open the next page, page five would be Friday to Sunday. And then page six would be um, a weekly planner again with um, all the weekdays. So you can imagine to always be working on the left and the right side at the same time, like an open planner in front of you. So once you created your planner and we recommend you to have an even amount of pages if possible. So once you created your entire planner, um, you will go to batch generate PDF and then here you will have to select the menu to export the planner. Now this one here is a personal size planner. It's just as big as my hand size. And whenever you are exporting a planner, a smaller planner, you have the option to either print them on pre-cut paper that is as big as the inserts in your planner or you can choose to export them on an uh, on A4 or US letter size paper, double pages with two pages on one sheet of paper. So when you export the planner, it will ask you if you want to export it on personal size. 
So the personal size uh, would be a pre-cut paper or you can also export it on US leather or a four size paper. Now I have a four size paper here, so I will be selecting A4. And then it will also ask you how should the system arrange the pages for you. Now, if it is set to default, uh, the system will export the pages as they are here in the workspace in this rearrangement. So nothing will happen. It will create you one big PDF file with 18 pages and nothing will be changed in the rearrangement. So they all will be exported in the rearrangement as you see it here in the workspace. But if you select rearrange the pages for ring planner, the system will detach the left and the right side and it will rearrange them so that all pages will line up um, in your planner correctly. Now to not confuse you, I will show you a very quick example. Um, I have an example here. It's a front and back cover and then I I made pages um, numbered from one to one to eight and then I also labeled them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and then Sunday, Monday. So in here I have five pages in total. Uh, what will happen if we do not rearrange the pages, print them on A4 and export the planner. So if you were not to arrange the pages and export them default, um, double pages like this, you will end up with a PDF, print a PDF file that looks like this, where you have the back and the front cover next to each other. And then you have Monday, Tuesday, then Friday and Saturday, which looks fine. And then you have Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday and Monday. So everything looks fine. They look like they should be arranged just fine. If you weren't familiar with how printing inserts work, you would think that they all would line up in your planner. However, if you were to cut out this insert, you would end up with something that looks like this. So you see that the, um, the front cover is correct. Then the next one, Monday, Tuesday, still looks fine. And then, however, then suddenly you'd go to Sunday and Saturday, and then Wednesday and Thursday, three, four. However, the next page would then suddenly be Friday, five, and Monday, eighth. And then suddenly Monday and Tuesday and the back cover. So the back cover would end up on the Tuesday page. So you see that the order is not correct and that's why the system will have to rearrange the pages for you so this doesn't happen. So if you were to select rearrange, it would export you a PDF file that looks like this. So you see different from before where the front and back cover has been next to each other. Now in the rearrange PDF file, the back cover and the front cover are detached. They are not on the same page. Then if you go to the, if you flip it, you see suddenly you have um, eight Monday behind the back cover and you see the front cover is next to Wednesday and Monday, Tuesday and Thursday, uh, Friday, Saturday. And then on the back side you have Sunday and Thursday next to each other. They don't look arranged. However, if you cut out this planner and you were to put it into your binder, you would end up with something that looks like this. Front cover, you open it up, you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. And then at the back you have a back cover. So this is how a correct PDF file would look like. And this is how it looks like if exported, um, rearranged. So we always recommend you to click on rearrange PDF 
and select your paper size up here when you export multiple pages so you can have them rearranged correctly in your planner and I hope I was able to explain you and show you what the differences is between rearranged and not rearranged and if you have any questions you can message me on Instagram or Facebook anytime and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye!